The Chinese Lunar Exploration Program recently entered a quiet phase, building anticipation for the groundbreaking Phase 4 of the Chang'e program. This next chapter promises excitement, as it includes deploying a relay satellite around the moon to support the highly awaited Chang'e 6 mission's communications. Every preparation was made meticulously, and it paid off when, in front of the whole world, the Chang'e 6 mission was successfully launched, aiming once again for the far side of the moon. China has accomplished what was previously thought to be impossible. The Chang'e saga continues. China is making history with the near completion of its groundbreaking Chang'e 6 mission, a bold endeavor marking a significant milestone in lunar exploration. On May 3, 2024, the Chang'e 6 spacecraft embarked on its journey from the Wenqing Space Launch Site, located along the picturesque coast of Hainan Province in southern China. This mission is a pivotal part of China's fourth phase of lunar exploration, aimed at collecting and returning samples from the mysterious far side of the moon. It's a historic first in human lunar exploration, promising to reveal secrets hidden in the lunar soil that have eluded us thus far. This unique mission adds a new chapter to the story of the Chang program, China's Lunar Exploration Initiative. Previous missions in this saga have been successfully executed, with China being the first to land a rover on the far side of the moon. The mission's deputy chief designer, Wang Qiang, highlights the importance of technological breakthroughs necessary for the success of Chang'e 6. These breakthroughs come from various fields, including lunar orbit design, intelligent sampling, and the complexities of taking off from the moon's far side. The mission's objectives go beyond just sample retrieval. It also includes scientific exploration of the landing area and fostering international collaboration. This marks a significant step towards unraveling the moon's mysteries. Notably, China and Russia are collaborating to build the first nuclear-powered lunar station on the moon. This international partnership is a major part of the mission's broader goals. Goals and Objectives Let's delve into the scientific goals driving the Chang'e 6 mission. One of its main objectives is to thoroughly investigate and analyze the landing area on the far side of the moon. Scientists also aim to examine the samples retrieved from this uncharted territory, seeking insights into the moon's composition, history, and evolution. This ambitious quest promises to broaden our understanding of Earth's celestial neighbor and its role in shaping the solar system. The Chang'e 6 spacecraft will embark on a 53-day journey, navigating through 11 distinct flight stages, each presenting its own challenges and opportunities. This mission is part of China's comprehensive lunar exploration program and follows the historic Chang'e 4 probe, which achieved the remarkable feat of a soft landing on the moon's unexplored far side in January 2019. The selection of the South Pole Aitken Basin as the mission's target landing and sampling site is scientifically significant. This basin, one of the largest impact craters in the solar system, contains ancient lunar rocks. Scientists believe that studying samples from this region could reveal vital clues about the moon's formation and evolution, shedding light on the early history of our solar system. However, the rugged terrain of the moon's far side presents formidable challenges for the Chang'e 6 mission. Despite advancements in satellite remote sensing technology, detailed knowledge of the landing site remains limited. Factors like surface topography and the presence of obstacles pose inherent risks to the spacecraft's descent. Innovative technological solutions are essential to ensure a safe and precise landing showcasing the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the mission's designers and engineers. The international dimension of the Chang'e 6 mission demonstrates China's commitment to collaborative scientific endeavors. Through strategic partnerships with countries and organizations worldwide, China aims to leverage diverse expertise and resources to enhance the mission's scientific yield. Notably, the spacecraft carries payloads developed through international cooperation, including instruments from the European Space Agency, 
France, Italy, and Pakistan. This collaborative approach fosters knowledge exchange and mutual benefit, enriching the global scientific community's understanding of the moon. Earlier missions in the Chang'e program. China's Lunar Exploration Program has seen several groundbreaking missions, each building on the successes of the last. The program began with robotic missions and has steadily progressed to more complex endeavors. Chang'e-1 Launched on October 24, 2007, aboard a Long March 3A rocket, Chang'e-1 was China's first lunar orbiter. Its mission was to map the entire lunar surface in unprecedented detail, creating a high-definition 3D map that provided invaluable insights into the moon's geological composition and laid the groundwork for future missions. Chang'e-2 Following the success of Chang'e-1, Chang'e-2 was launched on October 1, 2010, aboard a Long March 3C rocket. It reached the moon in less than five days, compared to the 12 days taken by its predecessor. Chang'e-2 continued to map the lunar terrain with even greater precision. After its mission around the moon, it traveled to the Earth-Sun 2 Lagrange point to test the spacecraft's telemetry, tracking, and control network. It then conducted a historic flyby of asteroid 4179, Tutatis, on December 13, 2012, before venturing into deep space for further testing. Chang'e 3 Phase 2 of the program began with Chang'e 3, launched on December 2, 2013, aboard a Long March 3B rocket. It successfully landed on the moon on December 14, 2013. Accompanying Chang'e-3 was the U-2 Jade Rabbit rover, which explored a designated area of three square kilometers during its three-month mission. The rover conducted ultraviolet observations of various celestial phenomena, providing astronomers with invaluable data. Chang'e-4 Originally conceived as a backup for Chang'e-3, Chang'e-4 was reconfigured following the success of its predecessor. It was launched on December 7, 2018, and achieved a historic milestone by landing on the far side of the moon in the South Pole Aitken Basin on January 3, 2019. The mission deployed the U-22 rover, which ventured into uncharted territory, unlocking new avenues of exploration and expanding our understanding of the lunar landscape. Chang'e 5 Phase 3 of the program focused on lunar sample return missions. Chang'e 5T1, launched on October 23, 2014, tested the capabilities of a lunar return spacecraft. Building on this, Chang'e 5 was launched on November 23, 2020. It successfully landed near Mons Rumker on December 1, 2020, collected 1,731 grams, 61.1 ounces, of lunar samples and return them to Earth, marking a significant milestone in lunar exploration. With these missions, China has steadily advanced its lunar exploration capabilities, culminating in the Chang'e 6 mission, which aims to retrieve samples from the far side of the moon for the first time. That's it for this video. 